Hey, what's going on, guys? G Monster here, and today I am reacting to the footage of the FBI arresting Roger Stone, who was arrested because he was lying about the president. And also, guys, I want to point out one thing. I don't really care too much about politics. I'm literally only reacting to this because it's the FBI, man. Seems interesting, so that's why I'm checking it out. It's because it's a FBI investigation. Anyways, yeah. That's literally the only reason why I'm checking it out. I don't really care too much about politics. So if you are planning to argue with me in the comments or whatever, then you're wasting your goddamn time. Because I'm literally only reacting to this because this is a FBI investigation and it seems interesting. And I want to know how it all went down. So anyways, I'm going to check this out in 3, 2, 1... Ooh, I, I forgot, forgot to, to say go. go. This is exclusive CNN video. This is what happened this morning before sunrise, just before 6 a.m., when Roger Stone, longtime uh, Trump associate and advisor, was taken into custody by the FBI. There's a moment of Oof. audio on here that I want to play for everyone because this is what the first sounds that Roger Stone woke up to this morning was the FBI pounding on his door and shouting this. I want to just play this for a moment. I totally thought he was going to be like FBI open up. Anyways, back to the video. And you point out that when the second time when they say FBI warrant, you'd like to know if that meant search warrant or arrest warrant. I mean, it's clear there's an arrest warrant because he's been indicted. Um, and the, the question, I think, is did they did they serve another warrant, a search warrant at the same time? You know, we'll know that, I think, probably soon enough. If the agents stayed and went into the house and spent time there, the answer will be probably yes. If they all left when they took... Um, when they took him, Stone out, then the answer is probably no. Uh, you can also I, can I just, been pouring through. Yeah. Hang on one second, David. You've also been pouring through this. And just so people know maybe why the FBI showed up in force, they allege high-level obstruction here by Roger Stone. The extent mm -hmm. he went yes. to, to lie and deceive and to dodge and to tamper, according to this indictment, is extraordinary. Joining us now is CNN producer David Shortell. He was on the scene when this happened in Fort Lauderdale. Tell us everything that, that uh, transpired this morning. Else in an extraordinary morning. We were here at 5 a.m. waiting for whatever was going to happen. It was dark, 6 a.m., just after the hour. About a half dozen police vehicles with sirens, but no sound. Silent sirens pull in front of this Fort Lauderdale home where Roger Stone was presumably asleep. The lights were off in the house. About a dozen officers, FBI agents wearing tactical vests and with large weapons, fanned out across Oof. his front lawn. One went up to the house and rapped on the door, shined a flashlight inside, said, FBI, open the door. Moments later, as you heard in the video, it said, FBI, warrant. That's what the agent said. We then saw a light go on the second floor, and moments later, there was Roger Stone in the doorway. That was uh, our video exclusively you saw shot by Gil De La Rosa. An extraordinary arrest here in Fort Lauderdale this morning. You know... This whole thing reminds me of how many times I lied, and I've never been arrested once. Oh frick, did I say that out loud? I better pack my crap and go! You'll never find me, FBI! Okay guys, but for real, that was pretty interesting. Anyways. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you do subscribe if you are new. That would really help me out a lot. We are on the road to 30 subs. And this channel has only been around for not even two months yet. And we're already at almost 30 subs. And I think that's pretty good. Especially for only a few videos on this channel. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. That would really help me out a lot. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye and peace and... See you later.